What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I want to talk about the golden rule when buying a chain or gold jewelry. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com and do me a favor, smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash. First things first, I want to give a birthday shout out to my little brother, Jacob. Go visit his YouTube channel. Big Baller 101, give him a smash and a subscribe. I'm gonna help him with his videos a little bit more, but he's got some good stuff. So Jacob, happy birthday, buddy. Now, last weekend has been a huge weekend for this channel. Most subscribers in a day, most views per 48 hours, and I've gotten a lot of you guys have hit me up for chains, and I shipped six chains out um, yesterday, which was Monday, just to subscribers, which was huge. Now, I was dealing with a fellow named Charles from New York. Charles, if you're watching, thank you. I actually got his rope chain right here. He went with the six millimeter, uh, 28 inch rope chain. And he had a few questions. And these are questions I hear a lot regarding weight of a chain and how it should be. Now you might go on my website, which I'm posting more chains on there by the end of this week or when you're watching this video, more chains should be up there. You might see a rope chain that, or any chain that you like and notice that the gram weight for that chain is different from another person's chain that they're selling. And some people get really alarmed with that because they feel like if it's a three millimeter rope chain, then all rope chains manufactured should be three millimeters as well. Now the golden rule and why I started making jewelry videos is for this one fact. I'm gonna pause, what is that fact? If you guess you should buy your chain per gram weight and gram weight only, then you are right. It does not matter about the millimeter size or anything like that. Now, when you want a bigger chain, obviously you want to know what millimeter size. Big difference between like a six millimeter and a two millimeter rope chain as far as the look. So obviously you're going to go base off millimeter size and how big it is. But at the end of the day, the main thing is how much does that chain weigh? Now I'm done talking about it. Let me show you. The best way I know how is with a sponge. Yes, a sponge. Now, depending on the link we're talking about, because chains are made differently, let's use the Miami Cuban link for example. One thing's the same is you measure a chain for the width, so across. So this is a 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link, beautiful chain. Now let's look at the side. Now, it, a jeweler could make it where the links, the, as far as the thickness, is only to the, to the dark blue. So it's gonna be thin. Another jeweler come along, make the same, 10 millimeter chain, but make it the whole sponge as far as the width goes. So you might be shopping, if you didn't get the per gram concept, you might be shopping and a jeweler has a 100 gram thinner Miami Cuban link, 10 millimeter, and he's selling it for $3,000. You go to the next jeweler and he made it thick because he wants a nice heavy chain. He feels like that's how the Miami Cuban links should, should be made, and he charges you $4,000, you might say, wow, that jeweler is way overpriced. I'm gonna go to the first jeweler, but really the first jeweler's price per gram was a lot higher than the second jeweler. You just didn't understand exactly what you were buying. The same could be said about the tight links. I could take the same thickness this is and compress it and get it tight and make it the same width as just this original one. You obviously have more weight. So there's a lot of different variations. I get a lot of emails, DMs about people saying, oh, I got a three millimeter rope chain and it only, you know, at 22 inches, it only weighs eight grams. And I'm like, okay, is it hollow? They're like, no, they said it's solid. There's no way that could be solid. It's not possible unless you had really loose links and even then it's just not gonna work out. So it's always good to know and compare different, different people's weights so you at least have an idea. It should be within two to five grams maximum. If you're just comparing a three millimeter with a three millimeter same length, even if you're not ready to buy right now, still go ahead and shop around and know exact gram weight you wanna spend and what that change should require. Speaking of shopping, visit my website, www.jacoji.com. Calm. I'm adding more rope chains by the end of this week, so maybe by the time you watch this, they'll already be up, and it'll allow you to select the width you like, select the length, and then add the metal color, yellow, 
and it'll give you the price for it. Below it is all the gram weights for the different lengths because we practice what we preach. You need to buy per gram. So that's a cool feature. I'm gonna add, keep adding different styles and hopefully, you know, in a month or so, I'll be pretty much caught up and you guys could spend some time just picking out what you eventually want. Now, I wanna show you guys real quick the six millimeter diamond cut rope chain I'm sending out to my boy Charles in New York. It's a beautiful chain. This will be on the website by the end of the week, so check that out. I'll have bracelets as well. I'm just gonna keep adding and keep building, and we're gonna keep grinding. Thank you for watching this video, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.